Okay, so here is your video on minor melodies with an upbeat. The first thing you need to do is look at your upbeat before you look at your minor key, because you need to know how your upbeat is going to affect your melody. First things first, let's revise what a melody upbeat actually is. So an upbeat is the number of beats borrowed from the final bar of a melody and placed before the um, opening first bar of your melody. What that means is that this upbeat here is not borrowed from here, it's borrowed from the very end. The last bar is the only bar that will not have a full number of beats. Every other bar that you write will have a full normal amount of beats, whatever is written in your time signature. In this case, your time signature is 4-4, four, four, so it's four crochet beats per bar. So you are going to have four beats in every bar that you write, except for the last one. Okay? The only difference being for the other bars is that some of them will be affected by your phrase mark and where you put your phrase mark. So, in order to figure out how your phrase mark is affected, you need to figure out what your upbeat means for you. Again, you're in the key time signature of 4-4. Four, four, which means four beats per bar, as I said. Your upbeat is a crotchet. So that is one beat here. So you take away one beat, which leaves you with three beats. Before your phrase mark. You can just double check back here, see what they have left. They don't always leave you with your exact number of upbeat beats. They might leave you more, they might leave you less, depending. But here they have been very clean about it and they've given you three beats here and left you with one. So they've just left you with your upbeat here. So you can put in your phrase mark straight away there. It does not go at the end of the bar where you'll have your bar line because you have your upbeat after the phrase mark. So it needs to go in here before that happens, before that last beat. Okay, so that's your upbeat sorted for now. You have to come back to it, obviously, every so often. Let's have a look at your key signature. So you have no sharps and flats. So you go to your rhyme. which is father, Charles, goes down and ends battle. You draw your line before the C, then you start on zero. Continue on one, two, three, four, and five. You have, again, zero sharps and flats. The zero is in here on the C. So your major key signature here is C major. Now you need to find out your relative minor. So you do add your related keys grid here. You put the C in the middle. So you have plus five for your dominant, plus four for your subdominant, and minus three for your um, relative minor. So plus five, C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G. Plus four, C, D, E, F and minus three, C, B, A. So your relative minor is the key of A minor. Checking back through your melody. Here it's actually, again, very easy to decide whether it's major or minor. You have an accidental in here leading up to the A, which would kind of tell you that it's in the key of A minor. You also have a leap here up and away from an A. So that also kind of is giving the game away that it is indeed a minor um, tonality and a minor key. So now next we have to write out our scale. 
in the key of A minor. So again, you start on A and you work your way up every note, B, C, D, E, F, G, and again A, until you stop at the note that you started on, A. Right in your sofa, your minor scale starts on a La, your major scale starts on Do. So La, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, and La. Now we need to raise our Fa and our So. So the Fa is an F, the So is a G. Double check your key signature again. You've got no sharps and flats. So you have no sharps and flats to transfer over into this scale along here. So your F and your G here are both natural notes. You need to raise your Fa and So by a half a tone or a semitone. In order to do that from a natural note, you use a sharp. So you're going to add a sharp in here and here, making this one Fi, the raised Fa, and this one is C, the raised So. So a quick reminder. To raise a flat note, you need to naturalize it. And to raise a natural, you need to sharpen it. So do remember that. For your feet and C, you'll never use a flat. It's never going to happen. Okay? So that's all your rough work done there. Other than your chord grid but I will come back to that in a minute. Let's write in your sofa for your actual, your actual melody. So we start on me here. Me, la, me, fa, re, mi, do, re, ti, la, si, la, do, re, do, ti, this is your melody here. We have got through singing that, sorry, just fix up. Mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti. That was quite low. Um but that is what it sounds like. So I'm just gonna sing it again a little bit higher. La no mi. Mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti. So now we need to figure out where we're going and what our plan of action is. So write in your full plan, making sure you have 16 bars. I'm going to end up with three lines, three extra lines. Make sure your bar lines are neat and that you have a double bar line at the end. You see they stay in the lines the whole time. You always try to carry down your treble clef. And now you need to write in your phrases. A, A1, B and A2. And then your other bar lines. Obviously, I'm not going to use these, so this time I drew them in, but I'm going to rub them out afterwards, the bar lines in the middle of the phrases. So I've just got A1, B and A2, and I, I'm going to skip those lines. Usually, you carry down your um, key signature. So we also have to carry down our key signature here by not writing in any sharps and flats, because that's what we've been given. You don't need to carry down your time signature of 4-4, four, four, time signature. Okay, so that's our skeleton done and now our plan so here we have development one development two and your modulation if you so wish because we were in a minor key you don't have to in a major key you have to modulate your b phrase then you have your sequence 
here, your high point here, and the chord of five over here. And your A2 phrase, we have a development bar here, development one, development two over here, chord of five, and the chord of one at the end. So that is officially your full plan done. Now we need to figure out where to go. Please make sure you put in a note here. This is the one that nearly everyone forgets if they're going to forget an upbeat. Don't forget your upbeat up here. So we've done, when singing it, Mi, La, Mi, Fa, Re, Mi, Do, Re, Ti, La, Si, La, Do, Re, Do, Ti. I hear this going two ways, either up, T, C, La, or Do, Re, Do, T, C, La, down there. So I'm going to go down because we're up here. So just to do something slightly different. Sorry, that first option, I sang C, La, but I should have sang Re, Do, T, Mi, La. It's actually that start. That's the exact same as here. So you can do that, but I'm going to do C, La instead. As you can see, my note goes after the um, phrase mark. You cannot really see because the way the pencil has come out, but there is a sharp there on the C. Make sure you've sharpened all of the notes that you want to sharpen, that you're meant to. C automatically has to go next to La. It has to. There is no other option. C. So, Do. Oh, where am I? La, do, re, do, ti, si, la, to there. So we are looking at this bar here. Mi, la, mi, fa, re, for our development one. You don't want to do the exact same. La, mi, fa, re, you have to do something slightly different so that you get marks. If you just copy, you can't get any marks. La, we're down here. Anyway, la, do, Mi, Re, so, La, Do, Mi, Re, how have I kept this similar to this? Well, firstly, I've used the chord of one. La, Mi is in the chord of one, so I've done that. La, Do, Mi, all the chord of one. Fa, Re is the chord of four. Re is in the chord of four. La, do, mi, re. I've also done an opposite shape here. This is going down here. I'm going up. And then I continue on the same shape down to the re. Mi, la, mi, fa, re, mi, do, re, ti, la, si, la, do, re, do, ti, si, la, do, mi, re. Mi, la, do, mi, re, mi, or La, do, mi, re, do. We're already sounding quite major by doing that. La, do, mi, re, do, mi, so. So hopefully you can hear how that suddenly has turned into a minor key just going to the do. Whereas if I go, la, do, mi, re, mi, si, la, I'm staying in the minor key. Going up to the mi will keep us in the minor. Going down to the do will change us to major. It will start our modulation off. Remembering we do actually need to modulate coming up to now. So, it's much of a muchness, which you would rather do and which you think is a nicer sound. La, do, mi, re, mi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, do. I could do that. Or, la, do, mi, re, do, mi, so, fa, mi, re, do. And I've already modulated by then. I'm already there by the end of this bar, which is fine. If you modulate early, that is absolutely fine. You can do that. La, do, mi, re, mi. I prefer this one. Mi, si, la, fa, so, re. No, because we cannot use so. I'm trying to incorporate this, but we can't use so and not go la so fa mi. 
So, mi si la fa, mi re do. So I'm going to keep the same rhythm, but just not that up and down pattern. Mi si la fa, ooh, mi si la. Then, in that case, you might as well go la so fa mi and straight down. To point out something to you. Here I have written in my sofa, me si la so fa mi, which is what I want. In my melody here, me si la, I have not written so. When you put in a sharp in a bar, it will carry for the rest of the bar on that note. So this, because I haven't written anything in, this G is also sharp. What I've actually written is mi si la si fa mi, which is incorrect melody writing. So we need to naturalize this again. We need to cancel out that sharp. And in order to do that, we add in, let me just fix these, we add in a natural sign. Okay, it is a little bit squished. I'm gonna just rub that out and move it over just so you can see it better. how much more space has been given there. Make sure your melodies are always very, very nice and clear when you're writing them. That it's really obvious what you are actually writing. So, la, do, mi, re, mi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re is next. Re, do, t. If I finish on t, that's a minor sound still. Re, do, ti, la, so, do. Re, do, ti, la, so, do. My only problem with this bar at the minute is your do is on a weak beat. Re, do, ti, la, so, then do. So we have managed to modulate, but it's not the strongest modulation ever. Mi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la, so, do. But it sounds okay. Unless you did, you copied this syncopation. Re, do. Then what do you do for those? T, re, do, T, so, do. Sounds a bit weird. The scale sounds better. It is also a full scale down. La, do, mi, re, mi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, T, la, so, do. By taking out one note, you're ruining the scale. If you're gonna do a scale, do a scale. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Now, we have Do here. They have given us a dotted minimum. If we stay on Do, it will sound like this. La, oh. La, Do, Mi, Re, Mi, Si, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Do. Which sounds good. Or you can do Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Do, Mi, So. Whichever you'd rather. I'm going to stick on the long note here. And because we have an upbeat, 
this is where it gets tricky. You need to remember that your upbeat is different here. Remember that you have to finish on the three beats rather than the four beats. So you've done three beats. Add in your phrase mark here. And then you'll have plus one beat over here. So, la do mi re mi si la so fa mi re do ti la so do. Now, after that, that's where do I hear it going? La so fa mi re do ti la so do. Da da do ti la is what I hear. Or I could do re do ti la so do so do and stay modulated in the major key. Re do ti la so do re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so fa mi re do si la something like that. Depends on what you want. But it's not like I'm actually going to stay modulated in the major key just because I think that was what sounded nicest. I didn't particularly like the end of what I sang, but I liked the start of it. So I did re here. And then I did mi re do ti la, which kind of sounds a little bit minory. That's not really a word, but mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti now fa is fa there and not fi because it is not followed by a raised so, it's followed by me. The only reason I would raise that to a fi instead of a fa is if this very next note was a raised so or si. It's not, so I just do fa. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so. So. Okay, so another thing that we haven't factored in in this particular melody is this bar here. This is syncopated. I think if you bar with syncopation, it is wise to use that syncopation somewhere else in your melody. I have not yet used it. Didn't need it. Didn't particularly fit in yet with anything else that I've done, but maybe it might fit in here. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, do. So, do, so. We don't want to come back to so there because we want to modulate back into our minor key. So, do. We'll certainly get a nice high point there. That's our do. So, do. And that brings us nice and neatly back to major key. We just make sure it's nice and smooth because we can change this so if I feel like these are too close, these two. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, do, ti, la, si. They are quite close. That does actually sound like it should be so, do, ti, la, so. Now, in order to fix that, we can do a chromatic movement here. Meaning we go to so, and then on the upbeat, do C si straight into la. That would sound mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, do, ti, la, so, si, la. And we're just straight back. That sounds much more smooth than so do ti la si mi la. That's a little bit jagged. So do ti la so si la mi. Sounds better. 
So we're going to stick with that one instead. So I'm going to get rid of this, change this to so. And yes, it is absolutely fine to stay modulated for that length of time. In no point in the question will it state when you have to modulate back to your original key. You just have to do it before you get to the end of your melody. You have to end in your home key. So do ti la so. Remember your upbeat. So here again, we're at the end bar of the phrase. So we need to deal with the fact that we have an upbeat here as well. Remember, once we hit three beats here, we need to put in our phrase mark and then the last beat. So three beats here are in that dotted minimum. So you put in your phrase mark and then the final beat, which I'm using as la. No, I'm not. I'm using a C. <clears throat> so now we have me. Um, actually, go from the beginning. Do re ti la si la do re do ti si la do mi re mi si la so fa mi re do ti la so do re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do ti la so si la. Now we have a problem. When you modulate to your relative major, if you stay in it this long, all of your relative major points stand. T must either go to or come from Do. Here it's coming from Do, but it really should be continuing down. Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, So, Do, Ti, La, So. This one actually sounds okay, which is, shows the importance of being able to sing your melodies. Fa, mi, re, do, ti. If you actually continue down to la, um, hold on. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la. You could actually do that. La, do, mi, la. And go up that way. But it doesn't sound as good. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so. Now you could do so, fa, mi, re, do, so, si, la, instead. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, fa, mi, re, do, thereby giving it a delayed resolution. Rather than this, so, do, ti, la, so, or we can do it down here. So, do, so, si, which I actually think I prefer because I like this. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, do, ti, la, so, do, so. Therefore, you're still resolving this T, but not ruining this bar. Mi, re, do, ti, la, fa, mi, re, do, ti, so, fa, mi, re, do. It doesn't give you much of a high point. Your high point's there, but you've had this in your melody as well, which is higher. So, fa, mi, re, do, so. You could do that instead. So fa mi re do, so do ti la si. Mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do ti la so si la. I actually like it how it is, but I'm going against a lot of what I have taught you by leaving it like this. I'm getting pins and needles. So, really, it should me. It should go me re do ti la fa me re do ti so fa me re do so do ti la si la. It should really do something more like that. But I like what I have. Me re do ti la fa me re do ti so do ti la so si la. I think it does actually manage to hide the note T very well. It's disguised in the scale. It's disguised by the fact that we're modulating back. It's come from this Do as well. So it's actually okay. I like how it sounds the best out of all the options. Again, 
stressing the purpose and the point of being able to sing your melodies you would automatically look at that and say oh no the tea has to keep going and you'd keep going la so and do something different whereas once i've spent about 10 minutes i'd say singing this and i've now come to the decision no i'm going to stick with what it is rather than move it so be really really careful about singing your melodies so just to double check from the start what we have so far Mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti si la do mi re mi si la so fa mi re do ti la so do re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do ti la so si la that's what we have and I'm happy with it still so Sila. now we're developing from this bar we did four crosses already boring don't do it again and we're working from the chord of one and four La, mi, which is what they did La, mi, La, mi, do, re, mi. That's what I like, that's what I've heard, and that's what I like. La, mi, do, re, mi. La, mi, do, re, mi. Now we're basing it off this part. I do like this idea, this kind of up and down, up and down style, and I want to incorporate that somewhere. So I'm going to do it here because I didn't do it the last time. La, mi, do, re, mi, fa, re, fa, re, mi, do, la, si. Now that is what I've heard, but I want to double check that it's not too close to what they've written. Because if it's too close, then you can't get any credit for it because it's the same thing that they did. Just leaning on something there. So, la, mi, do, re, mi, fa, re, mi, do, la, si. If you look back up, it is quite close. Mi, do, re, ti, la, si, re, fa, re, mi, do, la, si. I think we'll get away with it. We've changed it slightly and it fits better in with this bar. La, mi, do, re, mi, fa, re, mi, do, la, si. And then we need to finish off our melody. La. Around the chord of five here. It's the chord of five. In our minor melody. Looking for somewhere to write it. Chord of five, which is going to be the chord of E, which is E, G sharp, B, and the seventh is D. So that is me, C, T, and Ray. E, C, T, Ray. And the notes we're basing this current bar from. Or of, of, E, C, T, R, A. So we've got La. Not in there at all. Let's move off the La. La, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Re, Mi, Do, La, Si, La, La, Ti, Re, La, Ti, Re, La, Ti, Re. La ti re mi, la ti re fa, mi re. Nope, don't like it. La ti re mi, si. Oh. 
La ti re, no, la ti re mi si la. I don't like that part at all. I really don't like it. La la mi do re mi fa re mi do la si la re mi. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take all of these middle bits out because I like the si la at the end. And this has to go back up to La. La, Si, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi. What about that instead? A scale up. La, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Re, Do, Mi, Do, La, Si, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Si, La. Yeah, happy with that. La, Ti, Do, Re, A bit squishy. La ti do re mi si la. And again, here you're at your fourth bar of your phrase, so watch out for your upbeat. You have to leave one beat. You can't put a semi brief here. You just can't. You're going to put three beats, which is the dot a minimum, and then your upbeat or your phrase mark me afterwards and you don't add a fourth beat in after it this time around the others you have an extra beat one here one here and one here you don't at the end you just leave it the way it is i want to work this out and make it neat again the importance of keeping it neat for any examiner correcting it La -ti -do -re -mi -si -la. And now, of course, I need to move over my phrase mark as well. And my sulfa. Phrase mark now goes in there. La ti do re mi. La ti do re mi si la. Much better. Now I'm the whole thing to make sure I'm happy with it. From the start it goes mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti si la do mi re mi si la so fa mi re do ti la so do re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do ti la so si la mi do re mi fa re mi do la si la ti do re mi si la done now we need to add in dynamics so Let's start with so forte. I can already hear that the ending is very quiet. It diminuendos. That's what I want. And I want it to slow down as well. If you're slowing down, the mark for slow down is or I T. It means ritenuto, which means to slow down. This goes above the stave, not like dynamics. Tempo markings go above, dynamics go below. So say I want to write from here, write that in there. And I want to diminuendo from the same place and finish pianissimo. So we're starting mezzo forte. Mi, la, mi, fa, re. I'm rubbing this out and moving it over because every note has to be accounted for in dynamics. You start on the very first note. Mi, la, mi, fa, re, mi, do, mi, do, re, ti, la. That to me is diminuendoing. Is a diminuendo to there. Mi, do, re, ti, la, si, la, do, re, do, ti, si, la, do, mi, re, mi, si, la. That's all a crescendo. 
till the la, which is forte. La so fa mi re do ti la so do. That's back down to mezzo forte. Re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do. This is your loudest section. Do up there. So mezzo forte. Fa mi re do ti la diminuendo there, but it goes back up to forte here. Fa mi re do ti. So do ti la so, and then you end it there. Si la mi do re mi, fa re mi do la si la ti do re mi si la. So we sing with the dynamics. It goes mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti. Si la do mi re mi si la so fa mi re do ti la so do re mi re do ti la fa mi re do ti so do ti la so si la mi do re mi fa re mi do la si la ti do re mi si. And then of course you'd add in your markings for your instruments. And that is the end of that melody. What I want to show you that I did earlier as well, just to show you that you can have a number of different variations from the same melody. So I was working on this and then my camera cut off. I didn't finish it. I was just gonna go see law, I think. So just to sing it through um, to show you what it sounds like. Mi la mi fa re mi do re ti la si la do re do ti si la do ti si la do mi re fa mi la so fa mi re do so do ti la do mi re ti re fa mi la la do ti la si mi mi la mi re do ti si la do ti re do mi la si la is the end of that one so this bit is actually up for this sequence in the end to this one la do mi re ti re fa mi fa mi la do ti la si how it sounds so just wanted to show you that to show that you can have a totally different a totally different melody from the same given melody but still have a plus one plus one nothing there this that dot is in there here for your um upbeat you can still obey all the rules there's a fa that does not continue on to the raise so so it stays fa does not go to fi and um, otherwise i have completely again avoided the raised fa or the fee. So I hope that makes sense.